How you doing? Uh, I'm Ray. I came here on one of these, and uh, I'm not here to tell you it's one of the most successful bike schemes in the world. It is. We all know that. What's really amazing about this, this is a bike. We all agree that this is a bike. Um, we all agree in its essential bikiness. Because a bike, like everything else in the world, like everything else that's designed, it's socially constructed. This is a bike because we all say it's a bike. This is a microphone because we all say it's a microphone. This is a glass of water uh, because I'm thirsty. Um, <laughs> A hundred years ago, there was lots of different ideas about what a bike was. Um, you know, how many wheels should it have, how big it should be. And the only way to kind of figure that out is to manifest things into the world, to make them real, to design them, to show each other, and kind of work that out, to kind of create a shared understanding. But it's not like we all have an equal voice in this, actually. You know, design, it embodies the power relationships and the social structures that already exist. So the bike owner, the guy who owns the factory, he gets to say um, he has a bit more power about what it is. And he's got a great hat. Um, now, you might remember when Dublin Bikes started, uh, I think Fusio launched an app. And within about 24 hours, um, JC Ducco, who run the bike scheme, uh, made them take it down. Boo. We don't like them. <laughs> OK, good bit. So as some of you know, uh, one of the first acts of the free state was to go around and paint all the post boxes green because it's a really small act, a really beautiful design act, but it really showed that there's a, a, a new transition, a new power structure in place. And similarly with coinage, even though we were actually linked to sterling, we went out and created a new coinage to show the uh, new social relationships between us. What WB8 called silent ambassadors of the nation. That said, WB8 also wanted to construct a temple to um, ancient Celtic gods in Lockheed Forest Park, County Roscommon, number one traction. Um, so you can't always take him on board, but I think on that he was pretty right. But outside of all that kind of, Celt all that kind of airy fairy Celtic stuff, he was also involved in the Abbey Theatre and the cultural revival. And that was this great flowering of art and design, and literature and culture 100 years ago. And these guys, they imagined a country, they imagined a state before we even had one. And they didn't just imagine it, they made it real. They, in, in, in true its material culture, our pre-independence government actually issued bonds and they raised the equivalent of about $1 billion to kind of create the infrastructure for a country that didn't even exist yet. Now, nowadays, we're still dealing with bondholders and some of you might have seen this thing. Uh, and this is, you know, talk about showing power relationship. This is actually all the shit behind the news that we're always reading about every day. Um, and, you know, really showing what are those social relationships, what are those power structures. And there's also things like Conor McGarrigal's Nama Land, you know, um, making the invisible visible right here and now. You can, uh, this is an app, you can go and view all of those amazing buildings we all own. Um, but it's not just about making the visible, it's also about putting things in place that reshape and reframe what things might be. So I love these guys. Um, it's not about just giving out about Tesco, oh, they're going to take over our, our streets. It's about redeveloping uh, and putting in place new distri distribution methods for food. And also, Hedge School Dublin, as uh, mentioned in the previous, we want to dive bomb into education establishment and plant a seed that's going to sprout up and kind of create new learning for the future. That's the Department of Environment. Uh, <laughs> Or education. I spend a lot of time thinking about the future, and I think about these guys. Who's going to win the 2030 All Ireland Hurling final? Are Fingal going to do it again, or is it London Irish's year? And what's the sponsors? And who's going to be in the audience? Who are the fans? Where do they come from? Where do they come from? How do they get to the Crow Park? Where do they live and where do they work? And how do they pay for their ticket? And other things. <laughs> Did they pay with euros, or Canadian dollars, or bitcoins, or the stony batter pound, or the Wexford Yola, or the Croker shilling, or the Connacht doubloon, or any one of the regional or national currencies that we haven't even started to think about? I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. But the only way we're going to find out is if we, we, we translate, we make these things real in the world. If we take what's in our heads, our ideas, and make them, and, you know, start to... Uh, put them out into the world. So it's this talk about a bicycle. Well, it is and it isn't. Um, it's about bicycles and it's about schlitters and it's about post boxes and it's about all the things we make and we remake and we put out into the world. The things we do and we develop and we debug and how do we, how do we put them in there? So I don't think we just make websites and magazines and apps. I think we actually describe the world as it is and I think we imagine and we construct the world as it might be. Thank you.